Alright guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we are moving into the Golden Week celebration. Um, and we've got something right here. So this mission is going to start in a couple of days here on Monday. Um, and this is Dokkan Awaken, a specific character into an LR. It's this Krillin right here. There, there, There's a new mission to uh, get this guy to LR. Now, what this means is Krillin is going to be getting his EZA, right? That, that, that's the number one thing there. Now, I might as well just get this out of the way. This is probably going to be JP only. Um, the celebration is shared and stuff like that, but Global is behind on Prime Battle LRs, right? Like EZAs. Um, remember that on GP, we've had Cell, uh, First Form Cell, who's okay. I, I think First Form Cell, he, he's like an okay-ish unit. Um, you could get value out of this guy in some difficult fights, depending upon the team you're running and, you know, other conditions. But, like, if this guy doesn't get caught with a super attack, he definitely can help, right? Like, this guy should be able to, uh, really handle a lot of boss normals. So, I, I do think Krillin could have a pretty impactful EZA. Um, and again, th this is not, like, like this will be something a little bit separate from Golden Week, right? Whereas Golden Week is going to be shared between Global and JP. This is almost sort of going to be like one of those side things, right? These um, Prime Battle EZA campaigns, like, they have their own little mini kind of, like, info campaign, right? So I expect we will get this announced... I, I mean, I, I don't know when, uh, probably at, at some point next week or maybe in two weeks or something like that. But Krillin himself, he's probably not easying until into May, considering that this mission lasts until May 1st right there. You know, so so this might be, uh, we really could see this guy actually easy a little bit closer to like Goku Day, um, which is on May 9th, right? So... I do think that this this is pretty impactful, this Krillin getting an easy A. Um, this guy is still a very competent um, world tournament character. Now, if we're going to talk about Krillin potentially being the best world tournament unit, um, I think he really only needs... Well, I mean, to be... He does have to super with his 12 key... He has an LR, so he has higher team cost than STR Piccolo. I almost want to pull up STR Piccolo real fast, because I like like the, when talking about this Krillin, the first thing I do want to talk about is, is world tournament viability. It's just very, th this Piccolo is actually designed perfectly, and I, it's just like it's I, I don't know. It, it's going to be difficult to surpass this guy as like a perfect world term unit. It just is because the turn starts and he's getting key right. And then he's creating orbs, and he has a nuking passive that he doesn't actually really need to wipe out the entire enemy lineup because he's doing guaranteed crits. It, it really, it's this. This is just too good, right? And I, I would, you know, continue to say that there's probably no way they could make this Krillin better than Piccolo unless they also put the AoE on his 18 key, right? Because, um... The way this would sort of work, which obviously they're not going to do that, right? But, like, the, the way that this would work is, like, with Piccolo, you can, you're just mindlessly, like, blowing through. I, I, I would point out that Krillin, you need to do his 12 key to do the AoE, which could cause a little bit of hesitation. I guess if he is guaranteed critting, though, like, this is obviously still going to be there after he easy A's, right? So if he's guaranteed critting, which which the number one thing he needs to get starting to beat Piccolo in terms of like world tournament character would be um, guaranteed crits against like six. Or, uh, like they literally could just add guaranteed crits to this. And it doesn't mean, oh my God, dude, Krillin is now like one of the best units in the game because it's against six or more enemies. It's specifically for world tournament, right? So that's not like they could easily, like that's not even a stretch to say that they could give that to him, right? To make him a better world tournament character, which which I think they should. But even then, you know, it, Piccolo is probably still going to be um, superior. We would see how much key Krillin might give himself to. Um, that could be pretty big. But the thing is, is that if he gets too much key, it's going to be very difficult. And even though he does get the guaranteed additional super, which again, let's say he's doing guaranteed crits. So this additional would always kill the entire enemy lineup if it's a guaranteed crit, right? But you'd have to watch this animation play out. And then you would kill all the enemies with this 12 key. So, I think that this guy probably will be very effective in World Tournament, but I just see no way that this Piccolo can be surpassed. It's just, 
he's just perfect the way they designed him. It's guaranteed crits, auto supering, orb changing. It's just it, it's it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. Um, I I, I it's it's people are just gonna start only using this guy for good reason, right? Um, now besides world tournament. If we take a look at Krillin, Full Power, Earthlings, Battle Wits, Turtle School, Bond of Friendship, Saiyan Saga, and Earthbred Fighters. Um, I do think that they can make this Krillin a very decent option, considering he's on some stuff like Earthlings and Saiyan Saga, you know, Battle of Wits, he, Full Power. He's got teams he could help out. I, I don't know really what I would want them to do to make this guy a lot better. Um, I mean, we could look at Cell. Cell does get percentages, right? So Krillin is going to move, and this is why it's going to be very difficult to sort of anticipate or predict what this Krillin is going to look like um, once he gets his EZ, because he's going to move to percentages, but like, what are the percentages going to be? Like, how much is this actually going to impact him? Um, I mean, it's going to impact him greatly moving from, you know, flat numbers to percentages. And he does already stack attack and defense um, with his 18 key super attack. I do think asking for guard or damage reduction or anything like that is just, it's unrealistic. I, I would want Krillin to be able to tank normals. That, I think, is the goal. Krillin tanking normals, like, all, I, I'm saying all normals. I want Krillin to be able to tank Metal Cooler Core, um... 8th anniversary Sin Shenron, all normals, that's it. And and I, th I think that's fair uh, for, like, a, a, a free-to-play LR like this. Um, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see what they might do. Now, another thing I do want to point out here was the Krillin name, right? So I was thinking, like, oh, boy, like, you know, we just have so many Krillins. And then, like, you, you get into it, and it's like, no, not, not really, right? Like, this is a free-to-play uh, easy a character. This is a Baba Shop character, right? This is from the Saiyan Saga. Um, this guy came out in, what, at the end of 2020 or 2021? It was 2020. Yeah, so it's like, this guy is old as hell now, right? We do have LR Krill, and he's about to get his EZA. This is a Battlefield character who came out in 2019 from the Andros SL Saga. Um, these are two movie hero characters, and this turn on Power Krillin. It's not like we really have that many Krillins, which leads me to my next point. I do anticipate this guy right here. This is the Krillin from the 23rd World Tournament. I bet you this guy will be the ban unit with Goku. If I was to make a prediction, because, I mean, it seems very likely and obvious to me um, that we are going to be seeing Goku and Piccolo, right? Considering the relation to Kakarot, the Kakarot DLC, I'd say that's very obvious. I do think that this guy, this Krillin who fights Piccolo Jr., um, in the world tournament, probably will be one of the character like, like the banner unit. I, I I think so. The you know go we'll get Goku. This Krillin will be the banner unit, and then I think we would get Majunior Piccolo Junior, and then I think Shen, who is you know Kami disguised in a human's body so he could fight Piccolo Junior, um, will be the banner unit for Piccolo Junior. That that that's what I'm sort of expecting right now. So, this does make sense. This is something Dokkan does quite a bit, too, where they will kind of, you know, drop, like, maybe a strong EZA, or, like, right around the same time they give us a strong EZA, we get a better summonable option. That that That's, like, such a common thing, I feel like, that they do. So, this Krillin, no matter what, I, I do see him having value. Super Battle Road, um, he will, of course, be very effective in World Tournament. Like, he's got some spots where I think that this Krillin will be effective no matter what. But I am expecting this Krillin to be the ban unit. There's a couple of other options. They could give us a TN, but we have gotten we, we have gotten a few TNs lately, right? TN just got a Prime Battle LR. He did get the Super Strike Easy, which I guess isn't the big biggest deal ever. But, like, we have recently got a TN. Uh, Yamcha just got a Dokkan Fest, so I don't see him getting one. Roshi doesn't really fight in the tournament. Um, I imagine Cyborg Tau, he, he has a Super Strike that is not easy aid yet. That likely will easy aid from the Golden Week Celebration. So it's like once you start eliminating a lot of these characters, it it, it does, I, I think, bring you to Krillin and Shen and Kami. Like, like those are the two banner units that, that we're likely to see. Again, they could do TN. Um, cause that, that's where TN first introduces the multi-form technique too. So like they easily could make him, you know, the banner unit. I, if we're being super serial here, 
this is the type of banner, like the type of categories and characters where we should be getting multiple banner units, right? Like they, like they should do Krillin and um, Shen on Piccolo Jr.'s banner since, you know, Piccolo fights both of them. And then on Goku's banner, you know, make a banner unit TN and a banner unit Yamcha. I know we just got Dokkan Fest Yamcha, but like, you know, this could be like a, make this Yamcha like a god specifically banner unit on like the world tournament team, right? Like he supports world tournament by 50% and he has, you know, 50% damage reduction if the entire team is world tournament, right? Something like that would be really crazy. And then that, you know, Dokkan Fest Yamcha is still crazy, but then this Yamcha would be viable as well with a world tournament lineup. I think that's something that Dokkan should look into. Because every once in a while, think of how good they made Ginyu. And it was because they gave him two banner units, who were both very good. Rakum and Goldo and Birder and Jace. So they didn't just drop Ginyu by himself. They gave him them. Then they gave him a really strong free-to-play LREZA in the physical Ginyu Force. And then a couple of months later, they gave him the tech LR Ginyu Force, right? Um, so I, I do think we'll see this guy as a banner unit. And then Krillin is going to be easing soon. Let me know what you guys would like to see for him. Again, I do think expectations are too high if you're thinking this guy's guarding or damage reduction or something like that. Um, I, I, I think the goal here is just like this cell is able to tank normal, so a lot of the time, right? Provided you're able to get the super attacks in from the build up, and you at least got like big bad bosses up for this guy. Like he can be okay, right? He could heal and stuff like that. Like this cell can do some stuff. I just want Krillin to be able to do some stuff just like sell and i think they probably will um this guy no matter what will be a very good world tournament option but again i see no way he'll be better than piccolo like piccolo is just perfect that banner unit piccolo i mean the guaranteed crits and auto key supers it's just it's too much all right like he just is auto win button right so let me know what you guys think of krill and getting his easy uh thanks guys for watching and i'll catch y'all next time